Aiden Ross just finished his stream with Donald Trump. This man, Aiden Ross, literally had Donald Trump walking out to the song Many Men at the beginning of the stream. Absolutely iconic. And I'm going to be honest, this might be the greatest marketing to Gen Z that I've ever seen from Donald Trump. At peak viewership, there was over 2 million people concurrently watching Aiden Ross stream with Donald Trump. While Trump was on Aiden Ross's stream, he also mentioned some other stuff like ensuring that Playboy Cardi drops an album if he's the next president. Literally every single streamer in the world today was broadcasting the Aiden Ross and Donald Trump stream. And after the stream was over, Aiden Ross has now donated over $2.2 million to Trump's campaign. It is not looking good for Kamala Harris right now. Now that most of Gen Z is over 18 years old, they are a huge factor in the upcoming election. There was a lot of speculation on whether this stream with Donald Trump was actually going to happen because just a couple of months ago, Aiden Ross advertised a stream with Kim Jong-un and that one didn't even happen. I have absolutely no idea how Kamala Harris is going to even respond to such a move like this. Aiden Ross and Donald Trump are the GOATs. So people are trying to now get Kamala to go on a stream with a prominent streamer by the name of Kai Sinat. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I don't know if it will actually happen. Uh, I used to watch, you know, streams and stuff like that. I don't really anymore. Um, so we'll see. We shall see. But uh, Trump had a massive turnout for uh, the stream yesterday with Aiden Ross, who is a massive streamer online. And uh, I want to play a couple of clips from the stream, but I also want to play this clip where Aiden Ross talks about the response he has received due to that stream. Check it out. Um, yeah. I've had a lot of people reach out to me. A lot of people reach out to me, a lot of celebrities who privately endorse Trump, and they're telling me that I'm brave. And you know, how is it brave to do a stream with a former president and soon to be president of the United States of America? It makes zero sense. How does this make me brave? You know what I mean? It makes literally zero sense. Zero, zero sense. Because of brand deals. I get it, bro, but come on, bro. I'm not gonna say who, but there's, there's rappers that can't even Work with Trump because of their labels. They're not letting them do it. I swear to God. I, oh my, I'm not trolling you. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? And I, I you know, I, it's, it's ridiculous, bro. It's really ridiculous. Um, you're so brave. <laughs> uh, Chris and I are stressed. Check your texts. So, yeah. Allegedly, celebrities are DMing Aiden who is a famous streamer. Like I said, he's a famous streamer. Um, he's met with a lot of celebrities, had a lot of celebrities on his stream himself. Um, so apparently, a lot of them are DMing him, saying, hey, <laughs> that was great. You're brave, man. And there's rappers who want to work with Donald Trump, but their labels won't allow them to. That's pretty, that's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. Uh, and no, that would not be pandering, because if the rappers want to work with him themselves, it's different from Kamala you know, uh, DMing, allegedly DMing rappers and paying them, uh, that's completely different. That That is pandering. That's trying to put on this front of, you know, hey, I'm I'm hip and cool. But if rappers are, are wanting to come to you and the labels aren't allowing them to, that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, I hope when Uncle Trump steps back into office, that changes. But I want to show y'all the entrance. Um to the stream that uh, Aiden Ross did for Trump. Check it out. Take my life away. I put up with me. My back on the wall. Now you gon' see. Better watch how you talk when you talk about me. Cause I'm coming for way. <laughs> if you guys don't know uh, what that song is, it is a rap song. Uh, performed by a rapper by the name of 50 Cent, who I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. 50 Cent uh, was one of the guys who was involved with um, uh, Vitamin Water. Some of you may remember Vitamin Water. I don't know if, is Vitamin Water still a thing? I think it is. Um, I don't think it's as prominent as what it used to be. But 50 Cent was a big investor early on in Vitamin Water, made a lot of money on Vitamin Water. Uh, but he was also, he's also a big rapper who used to rap a lot. Um, and one of the tracks that he made, and th th that's a song, is a song called Many Men. And um, 
it, it, it kind of fits with uh, what happened to Trump. <laughs> and they want to take my life away. <laughs> Many men wish death upon me. Which, yeah, uh, we, we've seen that in the, in, you know, obviously including the assassination attempt and then people, oh man, I, I wish he didn't miss, you know, like people saying that, which is just absolutely crazy. Uh, that, that show, it, it, if nothing else, that says everything you need to know about the left. Um, wishing death upon someone is just crazy. I don't wish death upon Joe Biden. I don't wish death upon Kamala. Uh, I wish that they never hold office ever again. But I don't wish death upon them. I think that that's that's insanity right there. That is absolutely insane. But Aiden Ross also revealed something interesting in this stream that you know we all kind of know was happening. But um, kind of happy that he brought it up. Check it out. Thank you. Uh, I have another question. And again, Mr. President, you know I'm not really fully into politics, but you know I'm I'm getting there. And I, I do want to make this very clear as well. Matt, it's on my mind. You know, back when I was in, uh, I went to high school in California, okay? Right. Um, and, you know, a lot of the, uh, the teachers uh, were basically at the time, you know, this is, this is your first term, they were telling me how horrible of a person you are and all these things. And the teachers, you're not supposed to do that. It's inappropriate to have teachers, you know, discuss politics in school. But it's becoming really normal for a lot of teachers. Uh, you know, and you're a kid, you, you know, when you're a kid, your, your brain is like a sponge. That's true. That's true. So... Um, I want to know what your thoughts on that, you know, kind of the corruption in the school system in a way. You know, they're teaching some pretty bad stuff in there. It's been brainwashed to a certain extent. Even the teachers have been brainwashed. They've learned from a long time. This is long before me, this liberal way, or now they call it progressive. They don't like the term liberal. You're not allowed to use that anymore, so I wow. usually use it. But uh, this, this liberal way that they have, and it's a bad thing, a bad thing for the country, you know? I agree. I 1,000% agree. Um, that should be, I fall short of saying outlawed, right? Cause I love free speech, you know, and I don't want to trample on free speech, but man, that's what we're doing in classrooms when our kids can't even read at grade level in comparison to other countries. We're ranked in like the twenties. The last time I checked across some of the major categories, but we're teaching that, Oh, Trump's a bad person in class. Like, this is absolutely crazy to me, you know? But it's just one of those things where, like, I'm like, mm, do I want to, like, ban it? Like, ban teachers from, like, talking about it? Because it's, it's technically trampling on freedom of speech. But also, at the same time, one, you shouldn't be having that conversation in class. But also, two, we need our test scores to be a lot better. So why are we wasting time on this and tax dollars on this? Like that, that, that doesn't make any sense, you know? So I, that's one of the, that's one of the types of things that I personally, um, you know, kind of struggle with, right? Trying to fix all of this personally. Um, y'all can let me know your thoughts and your opinions, um, how you feel about it. But like, I, I, I just struggle with, you know, freedom of speech versus, you know, y'all, I'm sure y'all understand me. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> Let's play another clip of Trump actually receiving a gift from Aiden Ross, which is actually pretty cool. I think these cars actually look pretty nice on the outside. I really do. This will be Did you, by the way, do you like my buddy Felix's shirt? I love that. Felix, by the way, uh, Mr. Hey, Trump. That's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, you got the grills on. I like that. Hey, I know. That's what I noticed. I noticed the grill. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Well, uh, you could already see the gift. Yeah, I can. Wow. <laughs> you can't miss it. That's an Elon. It is an Elon. Wow. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Musk. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, that is beautiful. Am I going to close the, uh, the door really quick? Just I yeah, want to show yeah. them the wrap. Sure. Check out this wrap and let me know your honest thoughts. I, I think it's incredible. <laughs> I think it's incredible. Go to the front. So you know what they did? Hey, uh, what Google did is they took or they let it happen. See the Secret Service agents here? Yeah. They're angry in there. They put smiles on their face. Right. You heard about that. Yeah, no, no. I, that's you, just terrible. Yeah, I know. But that's how easy it is to manipulate it. It's a little bit scary. Right? Yeah, it is. It's very scary. It's a little bit scary. We need, we need like a, a system where we can quickly fact check things and see yeah, if it's real and authentic. Yeah, yeah. And, and right now they don't have that. No, they don't. It's a problem. So um, I know we're not going to drive anywhere, but I, I was wondering if you wanted to like listen to like a song in here. Let's go. All right, cool. This is how you open it up. 
It is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll, I'll get on the other you side. <laughs> I can't lie. That's that's a pretty dope rap. That's a pretty dope rap because obviously the uh, I believe they're called Cyber Trucks. Uh, they have like a metal exterior. So I mean, I kind of like. I I didn't originally like the way that those trucks looked, but it's kind of it's kind of grown on me a little bit. It's kind of grown on me a little bit. I don't think the interior is that impressive, but the exterior I think it looks pretty cool. Especially when you have a cool rap like that, "Make America Great Across the Hood," as you guys saw, and then Trump with the with the iconic fist pump on the side and the American flag. I think it's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's electric, um, personally, but, you know, eh, beggars can't be choosers, you know you know what I mean? Beggars can't be choosers. Um, <clears throat> uh, here is a, another clip from that stream, and then we'll get into some of these numbers here. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just jump straight to the numbers because I, I, I do want to show you guys this because this is pretty significant. Especially when we talk about the younger voters, the Gen Z voters. So I want to read uh, from this article here. It says, Aiden Ross smashes kick viewership records with Donald Trump stream. Aiden Ross stream with Donald Trump has broken his kick viewership record by a massive margin. The interview was watched by a whopping 500,000 viewers. Uh, when Aiden Ross announced his collaboration with Donald Trump, fans had doubts. He had previously promised an interview <coughs> excuse me, with Kim Jong-un, but brought out an impersonator, impersonator instead. Despite that, the stream ended up becoming uh, Aiden Ross' most watched stream. However, this time he invited the real politician Donald Trump to his stream with a real-life audience. Uh, the stream kickstarted with Donald Trump walking into a room full of people with many men played in the background. The stream started with 100K live viewers and quickly garnered multiple hundred thousand viewers. Um, so, yeah, uh, where was it at? Um, although he fell short of that ambitious target, his impressive peak of 583,000 viewers still marks a significant achievement. So, yeah, uh. I think Donald Trump is doing the smart thing, right? And I think, I believe it was actually, um, oh crap. What's the guy that runs UFC? Um, uh, why am I drawing a blank on his name? Uh, crap. Dana White. I believe Dana White is the one that set up this, this, this interview, uh, between Trump and Aiden Ross. So, um, I, I think he's doing some great stuff, you know, doing this interview, which obviously a lot of people that watch Aiden are Gen Z voters, younger folks um, who are obviously going to make a difference in this upcoming election. He recently did an interview with uh, Logan Paul, who's obviously a huge uh, personality himself, right? Very well known online, him and his brother, uh, Jake Paul, who's I believe Jake boxes still. Um, he was, I think he was supposed to box, uh, 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 Mike Tyson, but something happened with that. I think Mike had a health issue or something. Um, I think he's done a stream with, um, crap. What are their names? The, the Nelk boys, I believe it, I believe their name is, uh, which was also very popular. So I think, I think Trump is just, uh, you know, making some smart moves, making some very, very smart moves, especially when we live in a world where, uh, we have this happening right here feel the need to complain because we're getting fucked right now let's do a little recap just yesterday 2.9 trillion dollars was wiped from the stock market because people are fearing a recession the u.s fertility rate has fallen to a record low it hasn't been this low since 1979 why because people can't afford kids home prices have gone up 47 percent since 2020 the average payment to buy a house was only 1200 dollars five years ago it's now three thousand dollars that has priced out so many americans and now they're forced to rent and yet rent has gone up 32 percent since the pandemic then they're claiming that groceries have only gone up 25 percent we've seen many tiktoks of people clicking reorder on their apps, going from $100 to $300 to $400. Groceries have doubled, if not tripled. We have a border crisis that has cost the taxpayers $150 billion so far. And we've sent nearly $200 billion to foreign countries. We've got the social security fund that's gonna run out in just nine years. So now you have millennials and Gen Zers not knowing if our social security is even gonna be there, even though we're paying into it every single month. And then the government is spending more money than we're giving them in tax revenue. We've reached the new milestone of $35 trillion in national debt. Now we're footing the bill, paying the interest 
every month. And Americans are drowning. We are $1.1 trillion in consumer debt. It's because people are putting groceries on their credit cards because they can't afford anything. So you're asking me why I'm complaining. Why aren't you complaining? So yeah, I think Trump is doing a smart thing. Speaking to the young folks who can't afford to feed themselves, right? A lot of them are still living at their parents' homes who can't afford to house themselves. Like I said, a lot of them are still living at their parents' house. Why? You just heard it there. The average, the average payment went from 1,200 five years ago to uh, uh, 3,000 now. Like that, that, that is just that, that is just mind blowing. Hold on, let me make sure I get this correct. Uh, where was it at? Uh, where was that piece at? Home prices have gone up 47% since 2020. The average payment to buy a house was only $1,200 five years ago. It's now $3,000. That is insane. Insane in five years. Five. Not 20, not 30, right? Not even 10. Five short years. Five. Twelve hundred dollars to three thousand. Three thousand dollars. And and that's that's not with the price of everything else dropping. That's with gas being more expensive. That's with food being more expensive. Any leisure activities that you want to do, those are more expensive as well. That's with everything increasing in price. Everything. Three thousand dollars. So, yeah, like I said, I, I think Trump is making a smart move, um, you know, because people care about this type of stuff, man. You, you can't afford to live under these folks. Legitimately, you can't afford to live, you know. So if, if nothing else encourages you to have those tough conversations, um, to make sure that you take somebody with you to the polls, let that do it. Y'all, y'all know how it is out here. You've been to the grocery store. You see the prices. Like <laughs> it, it is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane and ridiculous. But as always, y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.